Now, majority of women are all looking for a maintenance man in the bedroom. Now, this goes so deep that women know the degree to which men are uncomfortable with hearing the truth. Therefore, what women will oftentimes do is conceal this and they will conceal their intentions 24 seven. So men go into these dating interactions, men go into these relationships, not understanding why oftentimes what women actually want is not the thing that you are giving, which is why in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly why all women are looking for specific things in a man that triggers that attraction and that arousal to make it easy for you to attract and keep the women that you actually want. Now, after this video is over, I want you to go down below and you click the link in the description and you check out the full length MBT masculine behavioral technique, full length webinar presentation that I put together for you, because what you're going to see in that end to end presentation is an exact system where you can take this process that thousands of men have been using, you can copy paste it into your dating life, and you can get results at a far quicker pace. Let's dive in. Okay, today I'm going to be showing you exactly why all women are looking for a maintenance man in the bedroom, a guy that they can sleep with who does not get emotionally attached. And he's basically there whenever she needs to call him. And that's about it. Now, this is so important because what I've seen is like other content creators who talk about these topics, there's always like a negative tone of voice where they sound angry when they discuss these things. So I'm going to try my absolute best to sound as sweet as can be, to lay out all the facts to you with no negative tonality, with no anger, no bitterness like most of these people have. And I'm gonna to present to you exactly what I mean and exactly what women respond to. Now, a woman's biggest fear Okay, I'm taking the standpoint from just I'm purely giving you the facts. I'm, I'm showing you how, how they respond. Okay. A woman's biggest fear is sleeping with a guy who she thought was strong. Right. And I'm not just talking about your biceps. I'm talking about she thought you had emotional resiliency. She genuinely felt like you did not get attached probably to that degree. And she also thought that you were probably a guy who had lots of options. This is probably why she slept with you in the first place. A woman's biggest fear is sleeping with a guy that she thought was strong, but is actually emotionally weak. This is her biggest fear. Now, her emotions, when, when this happens, okay, her emotions and her ovaries feel tricked. Why do they feel tricked? Because the guy pulled a bait and switch. You pulled a bait and switch. You presented, right? in the beginning that you were strong, you presented that you were this, you know, assertive dude. And then what happens once your feelings got involved is you became different. Her emotions and her ovaries feel tricked because you pulled a bait and switch. Now she's bitter towards you. Now she's resentful. Now she doesn't want to talk to you. Now you're going to notice a totally different woman. It's like you had personality number one, instantly the switch flips and you you're like looking at this, this girl and you're like, where did this come from? I didn't even know like you had this side to you. Okay. This is the bait and switch. Now she assumed you would be stronger than her. This is why they get so angry when this happens. This is why they're so disappointed in it, not even themselves, but oftentimes the guy, right? That his mind was operating like this. She assumed you would be stronger than her. That means she assumed she would need more communication than you, which also means she assumed that you're the man. So she thought you would be the bad boy rebel that she has to chase. Okay. On top of that, she assumed she would catch feelings far before you did. This is what she assumed going into this or better yet that you wouldn't catch feelings at all. This is what she assumes. This is what she, she wants going into it. She wants to have this idea of you that you are this strong, stable, emotionally resilient rock. Okay. So this is what she assumes. She assumes that she would catch feelings far before you, you did, or better yet, she assumes that you would not catch them at all. Now you want her so bad. Now the insecurities come out as those insecurities come out. And now as a guy, you start pushing for a relationship and whatnot, you're going to notice a totally different woman. So what is the irreversible mistake? There's one specific irreversible mistake that all guys demonstrate when this happens, when this happens, your, you have now revealed your sexual market value, which means she thought you were probably an 8.5, a nine or a 10. As you've now revealed these insecurities, you've now became emotionally attached. 
she starts to get a sense that you're not used to girls who are as attractive as she is. Now she probably views your sexual market value anywhere from a five or a six. And now what happens is you're going to notice a shift in tonality, a shift in mood, a shift in behavior, and she doesn't like you at all. So the irreversible mistake that all men make is revealing your sexual market value through attachment, through needing companionship and through craving intimacy outside of the bedroom. This is a big no, no. When you do this, it, I don't, I don't uh, like, I don't care where the girl's from. It doesn't matter what she believes in. It doesn't matter what type of occupation she has. It doesn't matter her level of, you know, schooling, college educated or not. It doesn't matter when you demonstrate these things, they are, they are going to pull away. So once she's identified you as low value, a low value man, it's now all over. She stops looking up to you. She now looks down on you. She views you as less than this is not good. So any weakness to a woman is a turnoff. I'm talking any weakness at all. You have to like, let this sink in any amount of weakness, any weakness is a turnoff. That means any ounce of attachment, any ounce, right? Of neediness, any ounce of over communication. What this does is this is sending signals to her brain. You catching feelings, what this does is this sends a signal. So, okay, so you catching feelings signals, hey, this guy is not used to dating women at my level. Meaning this guy got lucky. He, he went fishing and he caught himself a world record fish, right? This guy, this guy got lucky. She feels like she's better than you. She feels like she's out of your league. So when a woman says this in her head, hey, this guy isn't used to dating women at my level, you've revealed your sexual market value. She used to view you as an 8.5, a nine or a 10, which is why she was sleeping with you in the first place. Women are so sensitive to words. Women are so sensitive to frames of value. Women are so sensitive to status metrics when it comes to the potential options that a guy has or is willing to exercise that once you don't demonstrate the right frames of value, now she's going to close off to you. So any weakness is a turnoff. This signals, Hey, this guy isn't used to dating women at my level. So when this happens, here's what you got to know. Not only is she going to pull away, but you have to understand why. And the reason why is because the second that the man pushes for more time with her, the second that you as a man push for more commitment, or the second that a man pushes for a relationship, she will withdraw, which means for those of you who like you want a marriage one day, or you want a family one day, or you want a long-term girlfriend, or you're not trying to sleep with a hundred women a year, blah, blah, blah. For those of you guys who are wanting that stability, she a hundred percent needs to be the one who's pushing for that next level of companionship and relationship building. And I'm going to explain why the second that the man pushes for more time with her, more commitment or a relationship, she will withdraw. Now it's not in a man's nature to press for a relationship. And this is why it throws her off. This is why mentally it throws her off where she's looking at this guy and she's like, why is he acting this way? Right? This isn't what I signed up for. Okay. This isn't the type of man that I thought I was getting when I first started to sleep with him. He was fun. He kept everything lighthearted. It was flirty. Nothing was too serious. Okay. We weren't engaging in logical, long talks and logical, deep discussion. Okay. Anytime you as a man start pushing for that companionship or you allow these conversations to turn logical or the biggest issue is you've, you've stopped, you've stopped presenting yourself as a mystery. So when you lay out all your cards on the table and now she knows what you do for a living, why you do what you do for a living, where you're from, what your background is. She starts to know personal deep questions on where you are, how you got to where you are and who you are. This is when the mystery and the chase is over. And I know that this sounds crazy, but what you have to understand, like I'll skip to this point and come back to it in a second. In the 10 years that I've been doing this, like my whole like journey, if you will, like every girl I've ever dated, right? So when I started really dating from like ages 18 to now I'm almost 28 years old in this 10 year span, my biggest realization, my biggest realization is a woman's sensitivity to words. Like women literally see the world through words. Okay. A woman's sensitivity to words is so important because women see the world through words. This has been my biggest realization in 10 years, like how sensitive women are to the frames of value of what words do to their psychology. 
So you could have a guy who is a famous professional basketball player, a famous musician, a famous rapper, okay? But the second that his words don't demonstrate nonchalant behavior, cool, kicked back, chill behavior, right? The second that he starts going logical on her, the second that he starts companionship building with her, is the second that even a guy who has real world status, real world success, has other women after him, the second even that guy does these things, she exits. And this is why you see this happen where, uh, you know, celebrity divorces happen, or this is where you see these things happen where high value guys get left, or a woman strays and she's sleeping with a guy who is, you know, makes less money than her husband, or blah, 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 blah. Okay, this is why. In my 10 years, my biggest realization is how sensitive women are to words. So this is why the second that the man pushes for more time, the second that the man pushes for more commitment, the second that a man pushes for a relationship, she will withdraw. And it doesn't matter what her beliefs are. It doesn't matter where she grew up. This is how they respond and this is how they react. So if you understand this, okay, here's what we have to get down to. Here's the, here's the true point we have to identify and come to terms with. It is uncomfortable for men to actually accept what women want and what women crave. And women know that it's so uncomfortable for men to hear these things that they conceal it. Okay, so what they do is they hide the fact. And then once they hide the fact, there's two categories of men. Category one, okay, is like probably only like three to 5% of men who understand these things. And these are the guys who are sexually rewarded. Okay, then there's like 95 to 97% of men who don't get these things, who, who do not understand these things, and this is category two, and these guys don't have any access to women. These guys have no selectivity when it comes to the dating game, nothing. So the reason why women hide these things is because they know that their true nature is very uncomfortable for a man to hear. They know that their true nature okay, is going to make men look at them differently. And women want men to look at them as beautiful and could do no harm. And since they want you to look at them as beautiful and could do no harm, they hide these things, they conceal these things. So it's uncomfortable for men to actually accept what women want and what women crave. Here's what I'm getting at. All women want is a guy who does not go emotionally weak for her beauty, okay? That's what she wants. That means the hidden traits that she wants or the truth of what she wants, if I laid this out for you in a logical step-by-step -step fashion, all a woman wants is a guy who does not go emotionally weak for her beauty. That means she wants a guy she can sleep with to pipe her down really good in this specific fashion. She can sleep with a guy, he pipes her down good, okay, she calls him back when she's ready, when she wants to see him again, she'll let him know he's not pushing for anything more, which is why I'm gonna lay this out for you in, a, in an exact step-by-step -step fashion, okay? That means number one, she calls and texts him on her own time when she's wanting to talk, when she's wanting to see him. He's not looking to corner her into a relationship or to, to, to push for a relationship. He does not need to kiss and cuddle, meaning he doesn't care if he has intimacy outside of the bedroom. He doesn't care if he gets to go hand holding down the park and pick flowers. He doesn't care if he gets another Starbucks date with her or not and gets to kiss her on the cheek. He doesn't care about these things. How he acts in his day to day life is he acts assertive. Okay. And then when it's time for her to go home, she says goodbye and that's it. That's all that happens. She sees him on her time. She comes to him when she's ready. Okay, and what that means is she's looking for a guy who is her maintenance man in the bedroom. The guy who's in the bedroom who makes her feel like a woman. Okay, that's like her, if, if, if a woman has that, it's like she's looking at raw material. She's like, okay, I can build with this. I can start to emotionally potentially invest and build with this guy. She's looking at raw material. She's looking at two by fours, nails, okay, a hammer. And she's thinking, hey, I can maybe build a house with this. When you're the maintenance man and you, can, you, she's, and you become a guy that she can sleep with to pipe, okay? Sleep with to pipe her down good. You don't need a lot of communication outside the bedroom. You don't care if there's intimacy or not. 
after you guys sleep together, she might cuddle you, she might kiss you, hug you a little bit, but when it's time to go, she says goodbye, and then you know what, in a few days or in a week or so, when she's missing you, she'll call you up. When you can play that position, when you play your position properly, she looks at you as raw material. She says, okay, here's all of the material I can build with this guy. I can build a house with this guy. Like he, he has the right elements of masculinity where he's emotionally detached enough that I think I now want to emotionally invest in him. Okay, this is the stuff that your dad should have taught you. This is stuff that your grandpa should have taught your dad. But we're looking at multiple generations now where this information has not been discussed or discovered. So I'm here to break this down to you in a format that doesn't include bitterness, that doesn't include me sounding like an asshole, and in a format that doesn't bring negative tone of voice or negative connotation to your head when I explain these things. So you can just logically and objectively look at this and go, okay, Casey, I get it. Okay, Casey, this makes sense. Okay, Casey, thank you for breaking this down for me. Because those of you who want relationships, those of you who want girlfriends, those of you who want to be married one day or blah, 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 you want to have a family, all that, this is how you're going to get it. She comes into your world. She attempts to lock you down. You're the prize. You're the, you're the catch, so to speak. And she invests emotionally into you. This is one-on-one. This is the, the crash course on how to do it, okay? So when you do all of these steps properly, she's looking for a good hard pipe. Meanwhile, you're trying to be her husband. And this is where the disconnect is. She's just looking for a good hard pipe. And you're sitting there trying to be her husband. And see, now what happens is she's like, damn, I lost another one. She was like, man, this guy has a good future. This guy has everything, right? This guy's tall. This guy's good looking. This guy's muscular. This guy's sexy. This guy has a good smile. This guy's a full head of hair. Man, if only he could make me feel the right way. And then she exits because women are guided by their emotions and they're guided by their feelings. This is why I'm telling you in 10 years now, my biggest realization is seeing a woman's sensitivity to words. Now shift this whole perspective to the edge of the marker board. What you have to know is that if a woman wants something more with you, if a woman wants a relationship with you, a future with you, if a woman wants something more with you, she will let you know. She will verbally tell you what she's get, what she's going to do is she will switch from covert communication of hiding things and hiding her intent to overt communication. And just like you had to flirt, just like you had to tease, just like you had to play lighthearted and play pretend and engage in fantasy, just like you had to do all those things, you had to walk just a little bit. You had to use just a little bit of language to engage in the land of the feminine, to get her to open up and want to see you. You had to seduce, you had to flirt, you had to engage in the land, like you had to engage in the words and the land of the feminine. When she's at this breaking point, where she wants a relationship with you, she switches from covert communication, meaning hiding her intent, hiding what she actually means, to overt communication, which means she knows that she's getting down to business. That means she's now engaging in the language play and the land of the masculine. Just like you had to engage in the, the language of women for a little while, she now, she now has to engage in the direct communication that you're going to respond to. That means she's going to ask you straight up, where is this going? Do you see a future with me? Is this all just to get laid? Where do you see this going? Do you think we would ever date one day? Or the magic one, if she's really at her breaking point is, will you be my boyfriend? Okay, woman gets to that point, that's when you've won. So, you're the man. Since you're the man, that means the only thing you ever need to focus on is you build your external world. Builders, okay, build your external world. Build your muscle mass, build your bank account, build your finances, build your social circle, build your status, build your network, build your resiliency, build who you are. Women like to see return, return on investment. If they invest in this guy, does he know how to build in the physical? Okay, you invest, you, you build and you invest in the external world. That means she's the woman, so let her build the internal world of emotion. It's not your job to be the relationship builder, okay? Let her build the internal world of emotion. Now, if you try to do this, if you try to build her internal world of, of emotion, AKA relationships, this is really what I mean, is you let her build the relationship. If you try to do this, she loses attraction. And she loses attraction because it's became a reversal of the dynamic. The dynamic has been reversed and now she's not attracted to you anymore. And that's why there's so many, like 
you wouldn't believe how many hot women there are that are single. Which is why when I'm telling you guys this, like you literally have the secrets to like crack the whole code. Like you literally have the secrets to win. Because I'm gonna tell you this, most attractive women are typically single because they can't find a guy who just gets it. They can't find a guy who understands what they respond to. And it's not their fault that they exit all of these relationships. It's not their fault that they pull away. It's her biology. When she senses weakness, she exits. That's just how they're hardwired. So let her build the internal world of emotion. If you try to do this, she loses attraction because it's became a reversal of the dynamics. So this is what I'm telling you. In my 10 years, okay, of, of dating and doing this and helping you guys on these videos and whatnot, my biggest realization is a woman's sensitivity to words, okay? They see the world through words. They don't see the world like the way you do, where you can see the physical and it's like, here I am living and yes means yes and no means no and right means right and wrong means wrong and good means good and bad means bad. And they don't see it like that. They see it through the land of emotion. Their emotional state dictated by words is how they see something as a positive light or a negative light. You being able to pump their state and give positive energy or be a source of pleasure for them to come to is going to make it so that way the world that they see when they're with you is one that they want to engage in. So you, you can have the best setup possible, but if you don't make her feel the right way, she's going to exit. And this is why words are like the, like a woman's sensitivity to words and how words dictate her emotional state has been my biggest realization. So this specifically is why all women are looking for a maintenance man in the bedroom, a guy that they can sleep with. If he does not get emotionally attached, now she has raw material that she wants to build with. Then she emotionally invests in you. This is how you get a woman's love. This is how you get a woman to say, I love you. This is how you get a woman to bring you coffee in the morning. This is how you get a woman to say, oh, thinking about you, blah, blah, blah. If this is the life you want, listen to what I write down. Every single video I make, all you have to do seriously is just listen to what I write, write down on the marker board. If you listen to what I write down on the marker board, you're gonna win. <laughs> so yeah, keep that in mind. Hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.